What's up, Gators? This is David Hader, and welcome to another Indie Quickie. So, this is a series that I started up in which I play a quick and fun indie game for you guys every single week. And today, I want to introduce you guys to a game called Bastion. So, if you don't know what this game is about, Bastion is basically an action RPG game. And this game is actually pretty old. I just found out that this game actually came out around 2011. So I'm sure that some of you who are watching this may know what this game is about. But I actually just found, about, found out about this game recently and I have played it. But I didn't play much of it and I thought this would be a really cool game to play for you guys uh, if you don't know what this game is about. So let's get started here. Alright, we'll just go into story. And, uh, I'm not sure. How about normal mode? So, I went into no sweat mode last time, but... Yeah, I'm not sure how well I'm gonna do with the normal Proper mode. Proper story is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now, here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up. Sets off for the Bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. So, as you can see, this is a very beautiful game. I love the art style of this game. And, uh, yeah, it really caught my eye the first time I played it. And also, uh, this game also has a narrator, which commentates about what Bastion is doing. So I think that's what the, what the character's name is, Bastion. Ground forms up under his feet as it pointing the way. He don't stop to wonder why. So Finds yeah. his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. So basically, the main thing that really set this game as a pretty good game for me is basically the combat. I mean, as soon as I uh, get more enemies to defeat, this game is actually pretty fun. And the whole environments in this game are actually destructible. So that's a pretty good feature for a pretty old game, I must say. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant in the calamity. So yeah. This is a pretty cool game, I must say. If you've never played it before, I highly recommend you check it out. And if you want to check it out, then you can buy it either on Steam or any of those that uh, big digital stores. No, ma'am. It's a gas fella, forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. Fella got a piece of him, though. So yeah, I'm not too sure what else I could say about this game. I mean, this game, I've read so far, has stellar reviews, and a lot of people seem to like this game. So I'm not sure um, if this is just going to be a one-time thing, or if you guys want me to make a walkthrough just of this game. For a while. Because I know that uh, this game is pretty old, and some of you may have played it yourselves, but uh, I'm curious if you guys want to see me play this game. Because I really do like this game, and if you guys want to see me play it, then go ahead and leave it in the comments below, and I will probably do a walkthrough. Otherwise, I'll probably just use this as like An a streaming. An old Peter falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. See, so yeah, I also get a gun. Got to hold her still to spin up the chamber. Very interesting. I thought I had an arrow last time. So, yeah, I'm not sure if the arrow comes in later. Because I played this game like a month ago, actually. And, uh, yeah, this game was pretty fun. But, yeah, I'm sure I get an arrow later. And I'm not too sure if any of these items actually have anything in them that's worth checking out. Other than He's worked just up quite a thirst by now. Them. So that fountain looks real inviting. 
Sometimes you just need a drink. Press F to heal. Alright. So yeah, this is actually a pretty easy game to a play. School of squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. So yeah, this is actually a, a pretty easy game to play, if I do say so myself. And uh, yeah, because it's pretty easy, I say this is a nice game that you guys can play if uh, you're looking for something that's um, finds a good waste your time a little bit. You. Always use the fancier. It's a good time waster. So yeah, I'm just looking at what I collected right now. So. I think this game has actually the best type of combat when there's a lot of it's enemies one around. Of the old so right now, I know there's nice not a lot view. going on yet, but as soon as there comes more enemies, that's when this game actually gets pretty good. So can I get over there? Oh, actually I can get over there. Interesting. I don't think I've been here before. And then Whoa, what the fuck? God damn it. I'm just fooling. Oh. Okay, so, uh, yeah. I've never fallen in this stage before. So that was interesting. Alright, so I think this is where a lot of enemies will come in. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking dead. So yeah, basically, I then need to trigger something. Then finds his trusty shield. I know how to use my shield. Hold shift to defend. The security All right, so that may have a sticky key there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Clang! Shield saves his hide. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so even though I've played this game before, I don't we quite remember a lot about it. For last call. Oh god. Come here. Oh yeah, there you go. More squirts start coming out Shift to lock on targets. A big old fella pops Whoa. out in front of the kid. That windbags are playing for keeps. F to heal, F to heal. Got it. Almost forgot about that. Gosh. Why just so hard? It sees the weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. Suddenly, suddenly this game got hard. It wasn't this hard the last time I played it. I guess it's because I played no sweat mode. Rondi always wanted his ashes scattered here. So yeah, I'm guessing this got harder because I went into no sweat mode, or I went to normal mode. So yeah, I'm just gonna show off the first stage in this video, and if you guys want some more, then uh. Just leave it in the comments below, and I'll maybe I'll do a he let's play. a good look at things on game. his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. Probably my favorite item in the game. On right mouse to shoot. Kid spy is a good perch for some target practice. Knows he should draw the string all the way back. Yep, this is probably my favorite weapon in the game. Even though I don't, I'm not really an archer guy. Um, I find the arrows to be very good at wiping out enemies faster. The kid pockets a memento from a breaker. Once the fastest man in the land. Okay. And upgrade material for the breaker's bow. All right, that's cool. Kaboomy, ah, uh, kaboomy. 
good news Kaboom. is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they aiming for the kid. Whoa. All right, so this this game is a lot harder in normal mode, which is fine, I guess. Whirlwind picks up a few pointers from a dusty old tome. Q to Whirlwind. Oh, he's a mighty fast learner. Okay, so I'm playing on mouse and keyboard, but I'm not sure if that's the best way to play this game. Find the distillery right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. All right, we'll just go into the distillery. One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid will feel like a new man. Okay, so this is where we can find upgrades for our stats and use these things as buffs. Um. Okay, so let's see. Started as a barren prank, but evolved to become popular with miners. Absorb stray fat fragments. Or plus 10 max health. Um, how about we just go with... I don't know. Max health. Alright. Yep, I like that. So yeah, let's see. All right, let's get in here. The arsenal's where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Okay, so we only have these three weapons, so I'm gonna keep the seal hammer. And uh, yeah, I really do like the bow, so I'm gonna keep that. Uh, dancing shots or whirlwind. Uh, I'm I'm gonna keep whirlwind because that's uh, a special move for my. That was oh. my hammer. Some of them squirts are birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. Oh. I gotta take out these nests here. All right, took care of those guys real quick, huh? Okay, so what is over here? That one was Maud, the tutor. Once taught the kid good manners. He never used them, though. Alright, I'll just keep going here until uh, I actually hit the boss. An old ferry barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. Alright, so here we go. Come on. God, these guys are so much harder. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. All right, it's time to heal. Alright, so this is why I like the uh Kid takes a chunk of alloy, smear of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Scumbags. Wasn't long before the kid could loose an arrow, strong and true. Kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just All right, did. Alright, so this may be the most difficult part of the game. 
Wow. Alright, so let's take out this nest. Alright, let's take out these big guys. Alright, so let's try to take care of this guy. Alright, so as you can see, he's also has the capability to misery. bring destruction to the environment. Which is pretty interesting. Okay, so this is definitely where collecting all of the, uh, having the magnet would have been handy. That's fine. It's fine, guys. Alright, so that was actually pretty easy. He finds the core to the wharf district. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. Kid has a feeling he better get a move on. Oh, the yeah. is stuck in the fall. Yeah, I better get a move on. Alright. Alright, so... See, that core kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. Kid just keeps running. Forget it. Forget you guys. Not worrying about it. I'm just gonna keep running. Whoa. Wow, that could have been useful. At last, the skyway is in sight. Whisks him where it needs to go. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. The Bastion. Okay, so I've actually Did never made it this far. Survive? So I'm gonna keep going here until I actually. Sure enough, he finds another. See something that may look important. All right, I'm not gonna try to fall off these things. Okay, so I've never made it this far. He finds me. All right, let's talk to him. We talk for a spell. Um, so, uh, there's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest, enough to point the way to the cores. Okay, so let's talk about this. All I tell him is to set that core is on the monument there, then watch. I try to let the kid down gently. This is the bastion, all right. Except no one else showed up. Ain't always much to say. Okay. So, I'm not sure what happens beyond this point of the game. But, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna take a break here, guys. So, I know I wasn't as thorough and, uh, as I usually am when I play these types of games. But I just wanted to make a quick video of, for you guys showing off what this game is about and how this game is. So if you want to play this game for yourselves, you can download this game on Steam or on any other digital game store that this may be available on. So yeah, I will leave those links in the, descri in the description. And uh, yeah, you can go through that link and download this game through that. So yeah, I'm going to leave this game here. But if you guys want me to... If you guys want to see a walkthrough of this game, then go ahead and leave it in the comments below and I'll probably I'll probably consider making a full 
uh, walkthrough of this game. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later, Gators.